Welcome to the Zay Zay Zone. I'm Isaiah Nix, and today we're talking about a film called The Adventures of Brian Lowe and Otis. So not everything you see in the world is innocent. We should know that by now. Even the many shows you watch when you were younger are not as innocent as we might have thought it would be. You know? They had adult jokes, some behind the scenes conflict that we didn't know existed or even happened. I'm talking about today has an example of one of those. It's probably a film that you have seen before or a film you just never saw before and you're just curious about why it's like why is it so dark like this, you know? So yeah, let's talk about that. So according to Wikipedia, the film opens up a Nippin on Nippin Farm with a mother cat who had given birth to her kittens. Alright? One of the kittens is named Milo. And he has a habit of being too curious and getting himself into trouble. He finds a pug puppy named Otis. And soon they become friends. When Milo is hiding in, inside a box, like probably like hide and seek. From that, it makes him like an innocent children's film. Like, oh, I want to see, I want my kids to see this film. It sounds like a nice film. It really does. And when you're younger, it can be seen as a good film. But as you get older, you look at the film, you start to wonder things. You know, because that's, that's why I do. I'm a film analyst, kind of, kind of, or show analyst. I analyze a lot of things. That's all I'm gonna say. And when you, once you're older, you start to analyze stuff like this to see, like, you know, like, hmm, how to make the cat do that or how to make the dog do that. See what, you see what I mean? Well, let's find out. Get on the set. So, Jackie Kent, the founder of the Animal Liberations Queensland, alleged that over 20 kittens were killed during filming. And there were reports of other animals being injured. And right now, it just seems messed up. Very messed up. Another allegation claims that a producer had broken a cat's paw to make the kitty seem unsteady on his feet. Which also caused the Australian animal rights organizations to receive complaints from viewers who believed the film depicted animal cruelty. There were many, 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 many more controversial scenes that, you know, Show animal abuse, basically. Specifically, when the animals is put into dangerous situations. That's when people really see what's going on, you know? Such as the scene when the, when the cat is seen falling off a, a cliff of over 100 feet into the ocean. People claim that, that the crew drew it off. I mean, drew the cat off, you know? Like, just like, drew it off because of how... He was like, based, like based on how it looked on the screen, they, they think that oh, the cat must have not jumped off like that. And then another scene is when the pug um was fighting a bear. Now, in all seriousness, we do know that a pug will get eaten up by a bear. A bear has too much to you know see itself with. So that pug, you know, was was gone from there. Um, and then another example is when the kitty cat was attacked by a crab, which must have hurt. If it hurt for us, it must hurt for a cat even worse, because they got like smaller. You know what, I don't want to imagine that, but um, yeah. Basically, um, this film has many dark productions. It, it's not as dark as The Wizard of Oz, which has multiple bad things after another. This film has a lot of bad stuff on it too, but it's not much to fill up a whole video, so that's what I'm talking about. So here's my take on this. So I do believe that this all happens, you know. Some people suggested, oh, it was fake. It was it was it was computer animation, you know. And then the in the movies in the some animal organizations who worked with the film, you know, claimed that if you do realize the film was made in the mid '80s. Computer animation did not exist in the mid 80s. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. They killed these animals on this on the set. They abused the animals, they hurt them, they put them in dangerous situations. It's like it's like putting a toddler in a you know, in a serious situation like that. It's like putting a toddler being unsupervised. Like imagine having like imagine a toddler being unsupervised for like you know a few hours for a film about a kid on his feet. Imagine how the outcome might be for that. Think about how the outcome might be for that. 
Yeah, I know. That baby could possibly be dead, sick, or in the hospital doing something. You know, like it's a scary thought. So, and you can, you know, but these companies over here lying. They, they, they were saying that no animal harm during, you know, during the beginning of the film. You can see the animal looking distressed in almost every single scene. Or some animal looking looking confused, like, why am I on this? Why am I going down this going down this waterfall? I don't understand, you know? Stuff like that. Like you can see in many scenes that they were very distressed by by the situation that they're being put in. You know, and they were scared for their lives. And I got a question to you guys, you know, who's watching this. Should this film be remade? And when I ask this question, I don't mean it in like the same way. So in my opinion, it could be remade. But instead of using real animals, you could use computer animation, which is much safer. No animals are dead. No animals to this. No animals to that. Everything is going to be intact because it's a good story. It's a nice film, but Knowing what happened behind the scenes just kills the vibe of the film. Like, I can't watch the film no more knowing that, oh, this, this, this cat died from this. This this dog died from this. You know, just pinpointing every single situation that I just read. So that's why, you know, it, you know. And if so, this film can be retold for a different generation in a, more, in a much more better way, you know. If you really think about it, it's not worth, you know, it whatsoever at all. It's not, it's not worth it. We don't need to remake things no more. And then again, you know, even if the film does get remade as a computer animated film, you know, it's just still going to feel weird knowing that this is a remake film of an even worse film. And then again, it's a lot, it's a lot of films that you like this too. It's like if they redo Oz, you know, it's going to feel weird because we've seen, you know, the original and we know how much seen that. So, it's been a lot of films that have been ruined by a lot of content. That's all I can really say at this point, you know? So, it can be a scary thing. It can be a good thing. No one's not always sure about how to explain, you know? Although, if it does get remade, I can't see myself watching it and enjoying it. But then again, it's a better remake of the original. I don't want that to happen either way because it's still going to take away the story from how they abuse those animals like that. But then again, it might happen. Because <laughs> in the world of, you know, in the age of reboots, you know, nothing is impossible. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I gave my opinions on this. This is probably like, like my first time ever getting like a full opinion because sometimes I script, you know, my opinions and I just like go off script a little bit. But this time I went practically almost off script. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give the video a big old like, subscribe to the Zay Zay Zone to never miss a new video and and I will see you guys again in the next episode of the Zay Zay Zone. Peace y'all.